गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यूर आर फाइन एंड यू हैव डन योर एग्जाम्स वेरी वेल यू हैव क्रॉस्ड थ्री फेजेस ऑफ फर्स्ट मंथली एग्जाम now we will start with the new chapter and uh, it will be the fifth chapter of the science book and the chapter name is the chapter name is this is chapter 5 and chapter name is separation of substances this is your fifth chapter so let's start the chapter your chapter name is separation of substances in this chapter we will read what is a mixture types of mixture the need for separation method of separation of mixtures sedimentation and decantation evaporation distillation condensation solubility solution and solubility importance of water as a solvent so these are the topics you will study inside this chapter now look here you can see four figures in the book getting started look at the picture of some mixed substances given below identify the mixture that can be separated so if you can see i think the first mixture is of liquid substance inside some solids it contains some solid and liquid in the first mixture in this and here is some soil and uh, this is the mixture of solid substances and uh, here you can see some cabbage some solid substance and uh, this is the mixture of gaseous substances this is a smoke the smoke is a example of mixture of gaseous substances so first here we study what is mixture we see and use a variety of a variety of substances in our body for example for example air tap water salt milk milk smoke milk soil soil smoke rocks and wood it will be surprising to know that uh, none of them is a pure substance air is also not a pure substance tap water is also not a pure substance salt is not a pure substance milk is not a pure substance means 
in all these mixtures nothing is pure no mixture is made up of pure substance they are actually mixed substances these are mixed substances or mixtures air is a mixture of various gases like oxygen different types of gases are contained in the air like oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide and some amount of vapor each of these gases is pure in itself a mixture is a substance that can be separated into two or more pure substances on the basis of their physical properties the pure substances that make up a mixture are called components of mixture means such as oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide these are the components of mixture and what is the mixture mixture is air okay so underline here some of the words for if you sorted out some word meanings you can underline mixed substances mixture components okay variety individual laminate this word laminate okay this word separated now here we study the types of mixtures now here two types of mixture are here types of mixture are given here homogeneous and heterogeneous homogeneous means a mixture in which various components are uniformly mixed what is mean by homogeneous mixture components are uniformly mixed those those mixture are homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture look and uh, for the example of homogeneous mixture you have to underline this word for writing the meaning you have to write the meaning of this word if we mix a spoonful of salt in a glass water we can not see the particles of salt with our naked eyes as they get uniformly dissolved in water understand if we dissolve the particles of salt so we can not see it the first step uh, the first sip taste as salty as the last sip means it is equally salty these mixture are the same properties similarly air is a homogeneous mixture now second mixture is given here second mixture is given here heterogeneous mixture what is heterogeneous mixture a mixture whose components are 
uniformly mixed or dissolved and hence each part of mixture does not have same properties look a mixture whose components are not uniformly mixed underline this word and write the meaning for it and hence each part of the mixture does not have the same properties is called heterogeneous mixture so you have to write the meaning of this word heterogeneous mixture for example if we take a spoonful of sand and mix it in one glass of water the particles are easily visible means sand and spoonful spoonful sand and uh, one glass of water so we can see the particles of sand in the water so these are easily visible and settle down when we left when left undisturbed for some time these mixture do not have same properties underline this word properties you have to write the meaning of this word other example of heterogeneous mixture is dusty air means in the dusty air we can't tell that uh, which gas is present in large amount and which gas is present in small amount so it is a heterogeneous mixture now let's see mixture can also be classified on the basis of physical state underline this word physical state if you write the meaning of this word physical state means uh, how the mixture looks from outside that is the physical state of the mixture of components in the given table various table of various types of mixtures along with examples are given below look you are looking here this table look at this table solid solid mixtures the examples are soil soil is the mixture of solid into a solid and uh, rice with uh, pulses these are also the mixture of uh, solid solid mixture this is also the example of solid solid mixture cement clay now second one is given here so li solid liquid mixture such as sugar syrup salty water chalk powder all these things are the example chalk water sorry all these three are the example of solid liquid mixtures now third one is given here solid gas mixture smoke and uh, pumic stone a sponge these are the example of solid gas mixture means in the smoke we can see the particles of ash and dust so we can say that it is the example of solid gas mixture now another one is given here liquid liquid mixture mixture oil with water lemon juice with water now look here oil with water it is heterogeneous mixture and lemon juice with water it is homogeneous mixture why because lemon juice dissolve completely in water but oil does not dissolve in water now liquid gas mixture mixed soda water oxygen in water i think soda water as uh, we can say that cold drink cold drink which you often drink 
that is the best example of liquid gas mixture now another one is given here gas gas mixture so in the air many of the gases are mixed with each other so is the example of now we can write here cool drink now next heading is the need for separation many naturally occurring as well as man made mixture are desirable but there are many mixture which are undesirable so underline these words desirable undesirable you have to write the meaning of these words and cannot be used as such the constituents underline it constituents of undesirable mixtures need to be separated for the following reason look here why we need to separate it to remove the undesirable constituents look in the constituents some of the things we want and some of the things we do not want so we have to separate it before we use a substance we need to separate harmful substances that may be mixed with it for example we need to separate impurities from ordinary water to make it potable water underline this word potable water potable water means potable water means you can write drinking water drinking water is called potable water okay to obtain desirable substances sometimes we need to separate even useful components if we need to use them separately for example we separate petrol petrol kerosene and diesel from petroleum what is petroleum Pro petroleum means crude oil and crude oil is the mixture of petrol kerosene and diesel and we have to obtain because these are the desirable substances and uh, we use it in many ways the next heading is given here to obtain highly pure substances while producing a medicine it is essential to remove all the harmful impurities impurities from the substance so that it can be used as medicine but in this case the impurities has to be removed without any loss or wastage of the substance this is the example which is given here medicine for finding or making a medicine we have to pure a substance highly methods of separation of mixtures different methods are used for separating substances that are mixed together let us read about some common methods are used so first method is given here first method is given here hand picking hand picking this method of hand picking can be used for separating separating slightly large sized impurities such as the piece of dirt stone and husk from wheat rice or pulses 
as when you cook food at your home as you have seen to your mother when she cooked the cook the food so when she cook rice or pulses so by hand picking by this method she remove the impurity the quantity of such impurity is usually not very large in such conditions we find that hand picking is a convenient underline this word convenient and you have to write the meaning method of separation now next adding is threshing as you are looking at this picture the farmers are threshing the crops when they get the grains with the crop by using this method as you have seen you are looking at in this picture this is known as threshing when the wheat or rice crop is ready for har harvesting the pots dry up these are the pots as you are looking underline this word threshing and write the meaning pots dry up these are then cut and beaten to release grains this is called threshing sometimes threshing is done with the help of bullocks thresher machines but now these times we have started using some type of machines are used to thresh large quantities of grains underline this word threshed grains may still contain seed covering and tiny pieces of leaves or stem these are separated by winnowing so students we have to write the meaning of uh, the underlined words which i have told you and i am giving one question we have to write it and submit it within 20 minutes so your question is here question is write one difference between between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture homogeneous and hetero heterogeneous mixtures heterogeneous mixtures so you have to write the answer of this question write one difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture okay students i will meet in the next video and uh, do this work and submit me as soon as possible okay good bye